Alright guys, what up? Diaz Vlogs and I'm back again with another vlog and we're going to make this super duper quick but we are actually going to be doing a vehicle interview today. It's going to be with my buddy. It is going to be a surprise though so if you guys want to stay tuned and check out what vehicle I am going to be interviewing, please give a like, share, comment and subscribe and make sure that if we could make it to 800 subscribers like I promised, we're going to do a cold air intake installation and we're going to order a cold air intake. So try to get us up to 800 subscribers if you guys want to see that and let's get going we're gonna clip out right now and we're gonna head over there i'll see you guys there all right guys i know we clipped out but we're actually back with my buddy why don't you introduce yourself and everything i am luis vega or on my instagram mr kip kip mr kip kip i fucking love it <laughs> so actually we have your vehicle today and why don't you tell us a little bit before like a surprise for them and then we'll showcase it um, when I was trying to get my first car, like big purchase, I was going through a lot of things personally. Yeah. Like, I didn't know if I wanted to go off the rails and get a KDM car, the Genesis Coupe, yeah. or just get something that everyone gets, like a Miata, because mm -hmm. Miatas are just cool. Yeah, but at the fun. same time, <laughs> I wanted something that was out there. You don't see a lot, and hella fun. Not horsepower wise, because you can get a Mustang. For a really cheap price and get hella horsepower, but we all know the stereotype of hitting crowds, and I want to—I didn't want to be that guy. <laughs> yeah, the, the accidental crowd killer. <laughs> yeah, but. especially since my luck was the first three months was this car. But um, yeah. I em eventually looked at this. I had it in my mind for a while, mm -hmm. and then when it finally came up, I jumped the gun on it, and to this day I don't regret it. 9,000 RPM is something you can't turn down. Exactly. And you guys are probably guessing on what vehicle it is. So we're just going to show you right now. It is a Honda S2000. What year is this one? A 2001 AP1. Pretty much all stock S2K. Oh, yeah. And that's what we love to see because every other S2K is just torn up or something's just, you know, someone did something to it, you know. Yeah, but this is I, literally clean. I pretty much got this stock. Nothing changed. Only just like maybe bigger uh, bigger wheels. That's all they changed it. Oh yeah, this thing's sleek, man. I'm not seeing dents or anything. There's like a little dent on the fender over there. Someone probably yeah. hit it was a door, but oh yeah, that's not too bad though. Yeah, it's not, nothing nothing where it's like oh shit. Oh yeah, thank you for the light. That definitely really helps. I'll probably do another walk around just for the yeah. Because that lighting definitely really. Look at that. I mean, dude, guys, sexy man. Yeah, then like. I knew it was going to be a pain in the ass as a daily, Yeah. but at the same time, I'm usually just driving it myself, so just if I need to carry stuff, there, the trunk and the passenger seat are enough cargo space. Yeah, definitely. Just to just put it there on the side, just, yeah. you know, real quickly. If I need anything else, I just borrow someone else's car. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that where I come in? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, dude, and actually, what did you do that... People are probably already guessing what you did to it, but what did you do? Recently, the most recent one, I just put the NVIDIA N1 dual tip exhaust yeah. right now and the NVIDIA test pipe. So there's no cat, technically, yeah. in the car. Definitely, dude. Re that's the most recent one. The yes. thing before that was the uh, hard top. Yeah? Yes. So the soft top is super ripped, tazzard. It's a 2001, obviously most soft tops get destroyed by then. Yeah. So I knew that I had to get either a new soft top or a hard top. The soft tops are cheaper to get, mm -hmm. but they're more expensive as labor more to put on. Because yeah. it's actually, you look at YouTube videos, it takes like 12 hours to do. Yeah. And it's not if you know what you're doing. So if you, and me, I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't want to yeah. mess it up. Exactly, man. So I, I saved up enough money to get the Mugen, no, that's a Mugen or yeah, is it? I think that's like either Mugen or Mugen. No, they, I think they don't say the Mu because no? they get mad. For real? It's, yeah, it's Mugen, Mugen style replica hardtop. Snap. Because obviously, if I would have got the actual Mugen one, it yeah. costs more. So I got a replica from Rockstar Garage in California. I got it unpainted because I didn't want to pay extra money for painting because delivery stuff. So yeah. I got it over here, saved up to get it painted, and. Turned out pretty good, because uh, actually here in Joliet, mm -hmm. no one wants to paint them. Yeah. No one wants to paint any parts that aren't stock in the body, so I had to find someone who was willing to do it as a project. Oh, heck yeah. So if anyone if anyone in the Chicago area, like suburb area of Chicago ever wants to do a hardtop for an S2000, it's going to be a little hard finding a guy 
who's willing to do it. Who's willing to sacrifice and just, Because you know. it's insurance, technically. If they break it, that's on them, not the insurance. Yeah. So, that's why they... That's why you don't see too many hard tops, you know, anywhere. I mean, just in general, like, a lot of people, they have the soft tops, and they're just like, yeah, you know, like, we want to do the hard tops, but, man, like, it's just... It's, a lot of people say it's sketchy, you know, like, depending where... Who they know, and that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not the perfect thing, but, like, they didn't... It, it's not bad for what they did, but obviously, there's, like, a few falls here, like... Yeah. You can see, like, little bubbles that happen there. Mm hmm Little drips. Oh, yeah. Just, like, tiny little things that obviously, you know, happen because they're not used to doing this type of thing. And then... Mm hmm This I'll go into a later detail. That was my own fault. Oh, snap. That's what, <laughs> that's what happens when you get the hardtop first week and you yeah. have to full send a car and don't let the, the whole car just, like... What's that word like? Um, Break pretty it. much settle in, yeah. Like yeah. The, the whole car settle in. So, little, just a quick story. I was going like over 130, and the wind pressure pretty much from the wind, yeah, s s s like snapped it. Oh, just oh snap. Because it okay. shakes a little bit, so obviously that pressure that happened there, that's where the because obviously this little this is like the little air tunnel where the wind's going. Mm -hmm. So that wind pressure, it just bam like right there broke down it down. a little bit. Snap, bro. Now actually, with the Honda S2000. On the inside, is there anything that has been done, anything to the interior yet, besides anything I'm with the exterior? besides just cleaning it and maintaining it. Oh, dude, this and is And then just tinted clean. windows, because that's technically interior. Oh, yeah. This is definitely really clean. It smells nice in here, too. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. As you guys see the shifter right there, oh, yeah. Definitely love the shifter on the S2Ks, man. I'm not gonna, it that actually reminds me of my buddy's Integra uh, on his shifter, you know, since it was... Acura Honda, you know, Honda Acura. They, they just, they're the same thing, but yeah. it's just different, different brand. Actually, we're coming on this side. This is the dashboard, the little, like, panel for drivers. Oh, yeah. As you guys can see, S2000 right there. The panel of the focus on the driver, that's what I love about it. Passenger, they just sit there, the driver has everything. Yeah, it's literally like an awesome cockpit, you know, you can get in there and it's like you feel, you know, that you are resembled to drive that vehicle and that you know that you can manhandle the life out of it. <laughs> yeah, my favorite thing too is that's push to start. Oh, the, oh yeah, the push start? Yeah, and even though like it's not like the newer cars where it's like you don't even have to put the key in the ignition to do a push start, but even though I have to put the key in there, mm -hmm. it's still a fun going red button, lift yeah. off. There you go, yeah, like a lift off, yeah. Actually, speaking of push start, you want to go ahead and turn on the car, and did you, actually, we'll have you roll out from the driveway so that they can see it with the light, and then we'll go for a quick drive. Yeah. Heck yeah. Here, I'll close the door for you on the other yeah. side. I definitely love the red guys on the car. It's definitely really nice. Ooh, you can hear that exhaust. And we got this bro with us. How you doing today? Heck yeah. <laughs> Yo. That's wild, man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> the pops, man. Actually, yeah, you can just pull out and then you can drive down the street. When you come back, we'll hop in. Right. Heck yeah. Yo, that is beautiful. Saucy. Wasn't 
that saucy? <laughs> we were just talking about how he was like, I don't want nobody to call or anything, you know? I was like, bro, I, I understand the same thing with my neighborhood. Dude, it's a beauty. <laughs> wow. There we go. It's cherry, guys. Huh? That was cherry. <laughs> now we're about to get in, guys. <laughs> we're about to witness. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean gun it? This is freaking speed limit 30 <laughs> or 25, okay? <laughs> no. It's like ex cops, okay? And and, and, and child and pedophiles. Ex. They'll look in my face and be like, ooh, I like that kid. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, I want that car. Hey, kid, you want to come over? <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> One, and this one, <laughs> you might spin out. Like, that's, that's what's happened to me a couple times. For real? Yeah. Before it was the, uh, my first wheel that had Nittos. Yeah. They were trash. They were trash? They were trash. The, the ones that they had there. Cause Nittos, if you, you have to get just one of the tires. You either have to go full, like, summer slick tires. Yeah. Or, like, full, like, seasoned tire. You can't do the... performance all season tires mm -hmm. in the rain and snow they're not that good they're not that good they're not that good so yeah that's what i was gonna go for back then too the nittos and then as soon as like the winter time you know they're not that good you know and i definitely agree with you on that you know and oh, I, yeah like i actually got in an accident that's why it took longer to make this car uh, yeah better because uh i see going out on the freeway it was the nittos oh snap yeah. on the freeway mm -hmm. so um here in uh the uh, route 30 to 55 entrance yeah that little curved road oh, that curve yeah when i was about to hit it in i felt one of my wheels literally you could i had my windows down i heard one of them go like spin out just spin out and i felt my car leading to the right oh snap so what i instinctively did you know just kind of like tried fixing it left what i didn't know is when it caught traction when i pulled left yeah it swung left and i tried you know like i was Fish tailing, I was trying to fight it. Yeah. And I ended up just spinning out leftwards on the highway like three times. Like a Beyblade, pretty much. Oh man, let it rip. <laughs> Damn, bro. But at least you're all good now, and I'm happy yeah. about that. I didn't hit anyone. Yeah. It hit me, so I, I spun out. I saved the car. Mm -hmm. But for three seconds, I was just kind of like, because it stalled, because I left it in gear for it to engine brake. Yeah. And it stalled, and I finally stopped. So I was like trying to get it ready to run. Yeah. And I got hit from behind. Man, that's crazy. But it wasn't bad because they were able to slow down a lot. It was like one of those love taps where it's like, ow. Oh, yeah, just like, oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, but it still sucked because it's like, it was an SUV. They took no damage, and there's like a giant dent in my car. I'm like, yeah. Small cars for the win. <laughs> yeah. Now for the shifter, I see that you're shifting. How's everything feel like with the gearbox? Have you done any clutch work it, or anything? It's pr nothing's done to it because mm -hmm. there's nothing really to be done in the ass down the clutch. It's probably one of the best clutches to learn yeah. to stick and just to enjoy it. It's short shift. It's mm -hmm. really fast, and then um, there's no lag in between. It just depends on like obviously uh, the driver themselves, you know. Yeah. Like granny shift, like. You know, it's just gonna feel like that, but it's not hard. Yeah. It's 
now like uh, I've been in a Mustang for where it's longer. Yeah. And uh, I've missed a couple times just because I'm I'm not the most experienced at stick. So I'm like, I'm so used to the short stick, so I, I don't so like the long stick. ones. Yeah, it, plus it was like a probably a rougher feeling, I'm guessing too, right? This yeah. is super like smooth for you probably. Super, and super snappy. Nice. It's just it feels so mechanical. It feels like when I do it, when I shift the gear, it'll shift. There's it's no, just like barely any delay. It's like one with you, basically. Mm -hmm. It's like you can actually harness the, like whatever you want to do. That's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. When I when I saw more articles saying that this is a driver's car, the more I drove it, the more I realized, yeah, this is. This is the driver's car. Definitely, man. If you mess up, there's nothing that will save you. Not the car doesn't have traction control. Yeah. Or ABS. Snap. So if you mess up, it, it's all on you. Yeah. Basically, the driver. Now with what do you call it? Everything like mechanically, the technology features. I know because being an older car, it doesn't have too much like all the cars nowadays. But how do you how do you feel like in the cockpit? And how do you like it? Do you really feel like crazy on the car some cars are like the, I know Nissan has like the three gauges there yeah the three gauges yeah and then it's, that I think the Nismo shows more important stuff like the oil temperature and stuff but other yeah. than that they're just decoration that just decoration. here they went all for like function there's nothing crazy in here it's like you need to see what you need to know yeah obviously right now I have a check engine light mm -hmm. because of the exhaust snap because obviously it's like, oh, you oh, have yeah, no cat. cat yeah. You have no cat, so I need to, I need to get either, um, I need to look up online how to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And then I just have to tune the car, because obviously right now it's running a little rich. Yeah, it's running like, you could smell it like when we were originally when you started up the car. It's running a real rich, because obviously normally it would be, oh, there's a cat. Yeah. There's air restriction. Now that it's f pretty much free flowing from the air intake mm -hmm. all the way through the exhaust, it's just... All right, I can suck in more air and waste more gas, but right now you don't really feel that power gain. Right now, mm -hmm. the first thing you felt was the weight loss. Yeah. And especially in lightweight cars, weight loss and little significant power gains mm -hmm. feel a lot. Feel like a lot more, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, if you get a heavier car, you mm -hmm. need a lot of horsepower gains to feel it. If you get like a Miata or just like lightweight cars, mm -hmm. a little bit of weight reduction, a little bit of power feel amazing. Amazing, yeah. Especially handling wise. And now speaking about tunes, correlating into that, was there any tunes in specific that you were thinking for the SJK that you wanted to do, especially, or was there just a basic one you wanted to go for? I haven't really looked at the tunes right now. Right now, I'm more just concerned about getting the engine light away because I wanted to detect the actual engine problems. Just like, you know, um, one of the most common problems people run to is the timing chain. In older cars, obviously, I haven't changed my timing aid, timing chain out yeah. because it doesn't sound like I need to change it. But you never know if it can snap. That's like one of the when it's gonna happen. I was gonna say, um, you could probably look up like the aftermarket how they have um, like the aftermarket converters, you know, that hook up, you know, yeah. so that it'll still be able to the check engine light will go off and you'll be able to read. I know my um buddy who has an old school muscle car build. He he's got that thing so loud and he still has. You know, no check engine light, you know, from the American so it's definitely possible. Yeah. Is that WGN again? They have WGN TV actually right <laughs> here. But yeah, I mean they definitely have it for your car, I know for sure. I, I just gotta know like where are the right spots because the parts were getting hard to find, but then the they just start remanufacturing for app one, right? Yeah. Or like for app one basically in S two thousand again. That's yeah. crazy. So, and then like there's a S2K like mods too differ from AP1 and AP2. Yeah. So obviously I can get a tune that'll uh, change the VTEC. Yeah. To hit sooner, which I want to. I want to change it to five thousand instead of six thousand. Mhm. Mm Just so that way, like it, it goes sooner. It doesn't change the top end um, RPM from what mm -hmm. I've seen. There are some tunes where it changes it to like four thousand, but then it's like the, S the AP2 rev limiter where it's like around 8,000 8, instead of 9,000. Okay, okay. So now going into that, were you also as well for the engine work and the transmission work, were you thinking about going aftermarket and what were your plans? You know, after, say for instance you get the tune done, mm -hmm. were you going to get any rods done in, any like K tuner, like were you thinking about that? I'm thinking right now just upgrading more of the suspension wheels suspension. and brakes yeah. to have more of a feel. Just like the go-to. 
too. It's like all of you can put more power into a car, but what's the matter? It doesn't matter if you have no grip or stability. Yeah. So right now I'm gonna make it like still decently. Like it's not slow. I wouldn't say it's not the fastest. Yeah. But I want the power that it has right now to be able to control all of it. All of it. Yeah. So definitely the handling that it's gonna be. Yeah. Your I'm getting suspension. suspension. Mm -hmm. I'm getting new brake lines, just brakes. Brake lines. Um, event, not right now. I won't get bigger brakes. Cause I'm not gonna track this daily. You don't really need bigger brakes. You just need the right brakes, like ceramic brakes. Yeah, like the ceramic and better, brakes, and then better brake lines for the braking. Obviously, eventually I want to get better wheels. These are obviously for the daily use. Mm -hmm. Eventually, when I save up more, I'm gonna have the Summer Slick, the Michelin Sport S Fords. Yes, those are those are definitely those are really amazing. Nice. Ferrari uses them. AMG, Mercedes uses them. So yeah, you want to know what rims? I definitely recommend for your car right off the bat. And you could, they're light rims, but they're built strong. The Rahana RTF wheels. Rahana RTF wheels. They have so many different designs, but you can do like a whole lot. Though I'm telling you, like they, the design is just beautiful on all of them. I personally like like it. So once one like you're like free and we can go to the custom shop together, I'll show you all the rims that they got in there. You know and what they can get you. You know. I've personally been looking at Cosmos wheels. Yeah. I, I, I like the six spoke designs a lot more. Especially with these getting rarer and rarer and harder and harder to find, it's like you, you, you kind of have the sweet spot, man. I'm salty. It's awesome. You, you got it good. <laughs> Actually, they did a good job because the clips are still, everything's nice. Oh, I did this. Oh, you did this? They only painted it. I was the one who put the hard top on. The hard top. Oh, snap. Okay. You did a good job then because they're exactly where they need to be after seeing them in a couple of other people's, you know, on how they are. Yeah. Definitely good. Now, is there any? 
anything that you want to like do like by hand you know like anything else like were you thinking of doing like different steering wheel with like the red badge or were you doing like anything like here I, to color match so what i was thinking um something that i'll do yeah like myself would just be like change the clutch and obviously to ceramic um change the shifter knob probably just like a little aesthetic thing so mm -hmm. motor wise i'd probably want to do the timing chain myself the timing chain timing chain and then uh the alternator belt needs to be changed soon call me over when you need help with that because man I'll, I'll definitely just hang around and you know and have fun just trying to help out as best as i can i'm eventually gonna get a spoiler yeah because the people are like get the lip or like the custom made ducktails yeah. and they look good but I, I still think you know like you have an s2000 hot boy you know yeah the wing just, you gotta fit you gotta you get an S2K, you kind of have to live the little boy, like a uh, hot boy, like, oh, he's got a little roadster with a nice big wing, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know? You gotta go all out. One kind of like, got it only once, right? Gotta be one with the car. Heck yeah. One with the car. Yeah, own it, you know? <laughs> That's something I'm never afraid to own, it, you know? Like, yeah, people are like, oh yeah, lawnmower engine, but I'm like, yeah, lawnmower engine that revs higher than every other car here. Yeah, man, and that could probably pass up your car and just be a four banger still, yeah. you know? Which is crazy, like a four cylinder man, like pushing out like the way it is. Yes. It's incredible. Like the technology from Honda, like they they definitely put the passion into the S2K into more of handling and they wanted it to be a beast, you know, and that's why I always tell people don't underestimate S2K, even though it might be stock, you know, you never know like what people might have slightly done to it because man, like there's so many features and cool things you can always do with an S two thousand, especially being Honda, you know what I mean? I like a uh, key tuner for like the shifter. I know you like the short shifter and you wanted to upgrade. They got amazing products, you know, for like the transmission, you know, for the S2000. Yeah. And so that's why I tell people like, just check them out. You know, if you don't like them, you know, you can check something else out too. And there's always everything. They always got everything for everyone, you know, different feels and how they like it. So yeah, I'm for, the, for the entry level parts, yeah, it's not that expensive because it's, it's a Honda. Yeah. So the parts aren't that hard to find. Once you start going into the more uh, important upgrades, mm -hmm. the S two thousands are not cheap. Yes. That's something that people need to know. If you can get one, obviously get one. But once yeah. you want to do like the actual horsepower gains, the actual stability mods, yes. you're gonna have to save up a little bit more money. A lot more money. Snap. Yeah, like don't get like Raceland coilovers because that's pretty much the same coilovers that's stock. Yeah. Save up for like a grand or a little more. Yeah. I didn't even see him either. <laughs> yes. But, it, uh, but is there anything else that you definitely wanted to talk about to the viewers or subscribers? And if they are looking at an S2000 or just anything else that you wanted to put in there? You know? Yeah. If you want big horsepower gains, definitely go with a turbo. But if you want a more reacting car, a car that still feels like a Honda when you're going for horsepower gains, definitely go with a supercharger. Though. A supercharger? There's going to be because uh, the VTEC is already like a lag on like engine response. Yeah. If you get a turbo, it's just going to be like double VTEC lag. Like you're going to get the turbo lag and you're going to get yeah. the VTEC lag. The VTEC lag, yeah. So, but you're going to get that huge boost at the very end. But the, your uh, low end speed is going to suffer a little bit. It's going to suffer versus, one, yeah. versus a supercharger, depending on which supercharger you get, because there's a mm -hmm. couple that you can get for the S2000. Yeah. I would go for the low end because the biggest problem with this car is just low end acceleration. Mm -hmm. You're slow. Everyone always pulls ahead of you. So like the throttle body, then you can get an upgraded throttle body for more better throttle response. You know, the throttle definitely... response isn't bad. It's just that you have to get to six thousand RPM for yeah. it to feel like a sports car. And if you don't get up to it, everyone they like most muscle cars. They have low end torque. This has so they're starting off already pushing out most of their horsepower. Like really aggressive, yeah. Yeah, so you have, that's why I, superchargers are like, in my opinion, the best thing you can do to a S2000 for big horsepower games. Heck yeah. Obviously there's smaller horsepower games, you know, the air intakes, the uh, yeah. spark plugs, and just like the two, pretty much just upgrading the engine slowly, but if you want that big boost of horsepower, yeah. you have to do the supercharger kit, you have to convert your gas to E85. And so do all that other stuff just for it to catch stuff. up. And that's that's a that's a big expense right there. That's probably like 
seven grand. Ooh, toma, man. So these cards, even though you can find some like under fifteen thousand, mm -hmm. it's definitely a twenty-five thousand card to make it decent. To make it decent, yeah, that's understandable, you know. I'm, I think I'm only like three or four grand in. Three or four grand in. Like extra, yeah. To what I've done to the car. And it looks nice and it feels nice but obviously i still have a, a ways to go before it's where i want it where you want it to be at i was going to tell you how i was going to say as a joke that's the start man <laughs> you're, you're just beginning <laughs> yeah. oh man uh, car car guys man we're just we can't help it we, we must <laughs> yeah that's what i told myself i uh i used to have a 300 zx i was telling the guys uh, oh, okay. i had to sell it because of my boxers fracture and i I literally could not, and the car was just gonna sit there, and for literally months, and just sitting, I was just gonna stare at it, you know. So I sold it to someone, you know, that uh, was actually really cool. They're definitely really cool, and so uh, I actually gotta hit him up just to see how he's doing with the car and stuff because he, he's a good person, you know. And so actually, we're back. Oh snap! They're standing out there. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like, "Sup guys, how how to go?" <laughs> But actually, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it, you know, for you, uh, you know, coming out, you know, and for me to come out, you know, and definitely do a vehicle interview and for you to talk about it and just have a cool chat, you know? Yeah. And so it's definitely really cool. And guys, you know, if you're thinking about it, he explained everything, you know, and on uh, what to do for a Honda S2000. So make sure you, you check it out. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, man. It's a beautiful car. It gets garage privileges when it's uh when it's in the rain. When it's in the rain. <laughs> Definitely, man. But you should see my car with all the rain and how dirty it is, man. I'm so disappointed. Oh man, solid ride. Oh man. But thank you guys for staying tuned once again. And once again, thank you, you know, for letting me come on over. And we're definitely gonna hang out more and do car meets and stuff. And yeah, we'll, you'll see the car slowly be built up too. Slowly be built up, little by little. So obviously, I still gotta prioritize other spending. Oh yeah, same here, man. Especially right now, I'm like, yeah, I'm can. waiting for Project Jetta just to like build up, but then I'm like, oh, oh, oh man, especially in these times, I seriously can't. Yeah, all this, uh, what's happening right now, it's yeah. just best to save up. Mm -hmm. If you do have money, like I saved up a couple money, like extras to get the, just in, you never know what's gonna happen with the car. Whatever you do, something. Save up a little bit more money. Have it to the side, just to the side. You never know. Like when we broke that bolt, yeah, that was extra money. Yeah, maybe something else could have been wrong. Maybe there could have been leaks. Yeah, something could have could have broken the two sensor on accident. You know, you never know. Dude, that would have been bad. <laughs> but yeah, guys, man, thank you for once again, and we're gonna head out. Please give a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later for the next video. Diaz vlogs is out. Hey guys. Diaz Vlogs here. If you guys enjoyed the content, smash that subscribe button. Also, if you guys want a shout out, make sure to comment down below and hit that like button. But once again, guys, thank you guys for staying tuned. Have a good rest of the day.